Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be making birria ramen. Yesterday's leftovers will be today's meal. Yesterday I made slow cooked crock pot birria and I made guesa tacos which you guys have been requesting. I will put that link in the description below or after this video. It came out so delicious but I do have leftovers so I'm going to do recipe round two with this and make ramen. This is going to be so good easy to make, and the ingredients that you want to add to it are versatile. Here's how I do it. All right, so today I'm making birria ramen. Here I have my leftover birria. This is basically the broth with meat in it. I'm also going to be using two packets of ramen. I'm not going to use the seasoning or the flavor in this. Uh, because I'm going to dress it with some other stuff, but I am going to use the ramen in this. The flavor packets you can save and use maybe to toss into a fried rice. That's actually what I do. Okay, I'm also going to add some fresh corn. I had sweet corn in the fridge. I just halved it. That's going in. It's jalapeno just to garnish it with. But for the most part, this is really easy and the ingredients you want to add to it, it's up to you. So I'm going to start by heating this up. Okay, so first things first. You're going to need a medium pot. And I know you guys always ask where I get my cookware from. I bought this at H Mart, my local Korean store, and here is what it has on the back. So stainless steel cookware and made in Korea, and I don't know what that says, but that's what it is. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my leftovers and just pour it, or this is actually kind of like gelatinous, so I'm gonna just kind of do that right in there. Now I'm going to turn the heat on. Now I'm just going to let this come up to a simmer. Once it's sort of melted down and dissolved, I'm going to let it simmer for about five minutes. And you want to make sure you work with like a medium, medium to medium low heat. Nothing on high. I don't want it to burn. So I wanted to show you the other thing I'm going to make to go along with this birria ramen. Here I have this is about four ounces of mixed cheese. This was a store-bought Mexican blend cheese, and then I added just a, a small little wedge that I had left over of Monterey Jack cheese. You could use mozzarella cheese if you want. I'm gonna add that to my bowl. I'm basically going to make these little crispy uh, cheese and onion quesadilla tacos. So to that, I'm going to add just a little bit of my chopped onion, maybe two, three tablespoons of onion and just a little bit of cilantro and give it a mix and this is going to be the cheese and onion filling for my little uh, crispy quesadillas that I'm going to cook. This is just something that I mean I'm making a meal out of this so you know something to dip into the broth. Okay, so my broth is simmering. It's been simmering for about five minutes already with the lid on. So I'm going to add my corn. I want that to cook. This is fresh corn. I'm going to add it in. And if you want, you know, more corn, work with a bigger pot, you can add more corn. Or just leave it out. That's not, it's not anything that, you know, that needs to be added. I'm also going to add my jalapeno. And I'm not going to pierce the jalapeno, I just want it to sort of cook and someone will eat it on the side. So once again, going to cover with the lid and let that simmer for about five minutes. Once it comes up to simmer, you'll start timing the five minutes. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. I'm going to actually remove the jalapeno. As you can see, it's split, which is fine. It'll add really nice flavor to the broth. And I'm going to let the corn continue to cook for another three minutes. I want to make sure it's cooked through before I start adding the, the noodles, the ramen noodles. Okay, so I've already sort of broken apart my, my ramen to make it easier to fit into the pot. So my corn is, has been simmering. It's done. So I'm going to crank up the heat. I had it on low. I'm going to put it a little bit. There we go. Medium low works. So now I'm just going to start putting in my ramen into the pot. Oh, this looks good. It smells good. 
So I'm just going to saturate and kind of soak in the ramen. And it's not going to take very long once it starts to simmer. I'm going to let it, um, it's kind of got a gentle simmer. I'm going to cover it and just let it simmer for about a minute and shut off the heat. Okay, so it's been a minute. I'm going to shut off the heat, and yes, my stove is so messy, but shut off the heat, and I'm just going to let it set here for about 30 seconds. I'm going to get a bowl and serve it. It doesn't take very long for the ramen to cook through unless you really want it sort of soft and tender, but I still like to have a bit of texture to my ramen, so it's up to you. Okay, so here is my bowl of birria ramen, and you know, the toppings and things like that, it's really up to you. I am going to add a little bit of my onion right in there. Some fresh cilantro, just like that. It's gonna be good. And a little bit of lime. And I have a nice little chile de arbol salsa that I made in my last video. Again, links in the description below. And at this point, if you want tapatio, go for it. Tapatio works. It works with this, but I'm going for my salsa. And this is delicious. And then you get your little taquito, your crispy cheese taco. Go ahead and give it a dip. Take a bite. Have some... Oh, I, I, you know me. I gotta have my little... Mmm. Mmm. -mm. So good. Mm. I almost wanted to double dip. Mm. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.